Player of the Week is brought to you by your local Zaxby's. As local Zaxby's owners, we are proud to support our high school athletes. Now here's the WKRG sports team with your Zaxby's Player of the Week. We are hanging out on the campus of Baker High School this week with the Hornets to honor our Player of the Week. It is Dwayne Williams of the Hornets, and thanks to his stellar defensive effort, the Hornets are headed to the playoffs. He's our Zaxby's Player of the Week. Good week, good, uh, good game, and on behalf of Zaxby's, we want to present you with the Player of the Week award, and on top of that, a Zaxby's gift card. We, good game, buddy. Keep up the work. Great game for him. He had uh, three interceptions, uh, five tackles for loss, I think 11 solo tackles. But the great thing about it was because of him and the play that he had that night, uh, it threw us into the playoffs. So that was a huge, huge factor for us. What was going through your mind? It's, I know it's got to be fun as a defender to get to find the end zone. Oh, my heart was racing. I, 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 I was trying to get straight to the end zone. Yeah, I had to get straight up. I ain't want no miss, no tackle, none of that. I tried to get straight to the end zone. Having someone like him at the outside linebacker spot do for you guys, and you got to go to Auburn this Friday. Yeah, yeah. we got a, t a big challenge in front of us. They're a, a great football team, but it, it helps when you have people like that who's very unselfish. You know, it's all it's all about the team with him. It's never about just him as an individual. So that's huge. We haven't been to the playoffs in a minute, and this year very much feel good. I was so happy that we made it to the playoffs because it's going to be a good opportunity. We got a tough opponent ahead for us. Andy, with the dance moves one more time. Oh. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Dwayne. The Hornets finished the regular season 5-4, and four, Auburn 8-1 and one, as they start the Class 7A playoffs.